I try to go my fastest and catch up. 11-year-old Asha Woodruff may look like any competitive swimmer. She has just like an incredible spirit. Um, she is tough. She is fierce. But that fierce attitude wasn't there from the start. I didn't really like it when I first got in the pool. I, my mom kind of just made me and she was like, go and swim. But over the past couple of years, Asha's found talent and joy in the pool. And once I like knew that I was good at it, I started loving it and liking it a lot. From the beginning, the waters were rough. Oh, wow. After birth, Asha was diagnosed with achondroplasia, a rare genetic condition and the most common form of dwarfism. It was scary at first to not know what we were entering into. And luckily we found a great community of people. Uh, the Little People of America has been Fantastic. Support that helped Asha grow. This past week, she swam at the World Dwarf Games in Germany. It feels really nice because I don't always get to see people with dwarfism like me. And so um, it's just really fun. She racked up some heavy hardware this past week. This thing's pretty heavy. Yeah, <laughs> they are. <laughs> including taking home the gold in the 25 meter breaststroke. I'm very proud of myself. Um, yeah, I put a lot of work and effort into this um, this year. My heart was just bursting to see her out there competing with um, other little people and getting to see what she can actually do. And while Asha's making a splash in the pool, she's also burning up the track. Um, I did track and field this year as a sport for my school, so I thought, why not do it as a sport and see how it goes. Making Asha an inspiration both in and out of the pool. I would like for other people to see how not just me, but other people with dwarfism put a lot of work and effort into this and um, are really proud of themselves too. Get on that starting block and dive in. In Carmichael, Michelle Dapper, KCRA 3 News.